This is the Moondrop Fidget Desk toy and it mimics the moon's gravity. Well, actually the moon, Mars, and Earth's gravity kind of, and we'll explain why in just a second. As you drop the blue one, it drops super fast as you expect here on Earth. The copper one, a little bit slower as you'd expect on Mars and the silver one even slower as you'd expect on the moon. You can pull all of them off of their stands which are magnetically connected and move them back and forth just like this. I measured how long it takes each of them to drop to calculate the simulated gravity that they're representing to see if they do match the Earth, Mars, and the moon and they don't. Here is the simulated gravity compared to the actual gravity for each of them. The Mars and the moon pieces are much closer to simulating the gravity on the planet Pluto and yes, I said the planet Pluto. I liked it a lot better when it was a planet. Politely argue in the comments below and let me know if you think Pluto should be a planet or not. The Earth simulator doesn't actually match the Earth's gravity, which may sound really confusing, but let me explain how these things work so it all makes sense. The basic principle is whenever you take conductive material such as metal and pass it through a magnetic field, it's gonna make electrons start to move in that metal, which then induces another magnetic field that resists the movement. This is the same principle you can see if you take an aluminum tube and a rare earth magnet in a ball shape and you drop it through the middle. Now, if I drop it next to it, you can see how fast it drops. But if I drop it down the middle, it will stay centered and almost float magically down there in a very slow pace. The moon drop fidget desk toy is basically the exact same thing, just opposite. Instead of dropping a magnet in the middle, there are magnets in the middle of this tube and we drop a piece of metal around the outside. Now the way that they are able to simulate different levels of gravity or how slow it drops is based on those magnets in the tube. The rest of it's pretty much the same other than the color. There are magnets stacked inside of here and you can unscrew this and they'll pop and go flying out because the moon one has magnets with light poles pushed together stacked in here and crammed in there with the top screwed on there. And what that does is cause a lot of change in magnetic field as this goes down, make it to go even slower. Where the Mars one has a couple stacked together that are the same and then they swap with the light poles, which means less light poles, less magnetic field, blah, blah, blah. And it drops a little bit quicker. And the reason why the Earth one is actually just ever so slightly slower than the actual Earth's gravity is because there is a magnet in here that helps hold it to the base and whatever it goes through that magnetic field, it does just affect it ever so slightly to make it just a little bit slower than what you'd expect.